Hey everyone, this year's IDEX wasn't just big, it was historic. Over 1,565 companies from 65 countries participated, and 731 of them were brand new to the event. That's a huge leap in global engagement. Seven countries had their national exhibits for the first time. The last IDEX saw $6.35 billion. This one? Likely more. It covered everything. Tanks, missiles, unmanned systems, cyber warfare, naval defense, you name it. Russia had a massive presence. Their section took up over 1,400 square meters, and 48 defense organizations were involved. One of the big reveals was the X-69 cruise missile, a low, observable, high-precision system for next-gen warfare. Then there was the X-58 anti-radar missile, making its international debut. They also showed off the SuperCam S-350 drone and the T-90M ProRiv tank, which developers claim is basically a brand new tank for the modern battlefield. Now this one caught a lot of people off guard. Rare footage surfaced online from inside a secret Iranian military base, showing elite training for FPV drone operators. In the clips, drones were seen flying extremely low and hitting mock armored targets with insane accuracy. After each hit, telemetry data popped up on the screen showing how spot on the strikes were. It's clear Iran is putting serious energy into drone warfare and training its forces and likely proxy groups for real combat scenarios. To counter threats like those, the UK rolled out the TRA Paladin, a mobile air defense system made by MSI Defense Systems. It's armed with a 30 mm Bushmaster cannon that can fire 200 rounds per minute, using airburst ammo to take down drones mid-air. It also features radar, thermal cameras, laser rangefinders, basically an all-in-one drone killer, and it can be operated remotely or autonomously, depending on the mission. Over in the US, a company called Overland AI presented Overdrive, an AI system that lets ground vehicles operate completely on their own, even in rough off-road terrain. The big idea is to keep soldiers out of dangerous areas. These autonomous vehicles can handle recon, supply runs, or transport while being plugged into existing military command systems. It's smart, it's tactical, and it could change how ground operations are done moving forward. Now let's talk about China, because they brought more than just humanoid robots to the table. Like Russia, China used IDEX 2025 as a stage to showcase a broad range of unmanned systems and heavy artillery, all aimed squarely at the export market. A key focus this year? Loitering munitions, a type of smart drone tech that's becoming a game changer in modern combat. But what really stood out was the international debut of the SH-16A, a brand new 155 mm self-propelled howitzer developed by Norinco. The SH-16A is mounted on a new 888 VN23 chassis, an upgrade from the older 6x6 truck setup used in previous versions. This new variant boasts improved mobility, stronger armor protection, a fully automated loading system, and, get this, a laser ignition system for better firing stability and timing. T can fire a range of munitions, including guided rounds that reach up to 56 kilometers, so we're talking about long-range mobile firepower that's easier to deploy and tougher to kill. Definitely a signal that China wants to be a dominant force in the export artillery market. The spotlight was also definitely on the Unitree G1 humanoid robot, developed by Unitree Robotics. This robot shocked people with its impressive agility and human-like movements, including full-on kung fu moves like spinning kicks. No, Really, you can look this up, it's wild. But it's not just for show. The G1 is designed as a multi-use robotic soldier that could potentially serve as a bodyguard or even operate in combat environments in the future. And the kicker? It's commercially available for around 16,000 right now. That's not just futuristic, it's accessible. But that wasn't all China had to show. They also unveiled the CSVP-16B, an unmanned, 
hybrid powered six deck six all-terrain vehicle. This machine supports autonomous navigation, can be armed with modular weapons, and is built for flexibility in real world combat scenarios. It's a clear signal. China is going all in on intelligent battlefield automation. Between humanoids and robotic vehicles, China is pushing the envelope hard and positioning itself as a serious global leader in robotic military innovation. Serbia also threw its hat into the robotics ring with the Milos N, a remote controlled unmanned vehicle designed for both recon and combat. It weighs about 620 kilo, moves at 7 km h, and comes with a Zastava M86 machine gun, M11 grenade launcher, and all the surveillance tech you could need. Thermal imagers, cameras, and a laser rangefinder. It can detect targets up to 1,000 meters away and is built to adapt with anti-tank or EW systems. Russia had one more ace up its sleeve, the Varen. This robot is built to support infantry during assaults and carry heavy payloads, up to 1.5 tons in fact. It features the D2 remote turret, which is compatible with multiple Kalashnikov machine guns and has a firing range of up to 800 meters. With a 15 kilometer control radius, it can be sent far into the field while operators stay safe behind the lines. Add in reconnaissance or electronic warfare modules and you've got a heavy duty battlefield assistant that's ready for action. So yeah, IDEX 2025 wasn't just another expo. It was a full on demonstration of where global warfare is heading. Smart weapons, autonomous systems, and yes, even robots that kick. It's clear that the arms race isn't just about who has the biggest tank anymore, it's about who has the smartest machines, the fastest AI, and the most versatile robotics. So now I've gotta ask, what stood out to you the most? Was it China's humanoid robot, Iran's FPV drone training, or maybe the Paladin drone killer from the UK? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I love hearing what you think. And hey, if you enjoyed this breakdown, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and stick around for more deep dives into the tech shaping our world. Until next time, stay smart, stay curious.